What is the most frustrating thing in 3D printing? Well, it's warping, uh, failed 3D prints and so on, the filament not working correctly. And I actually showed in some previous videos that if you don't dry your filament properly, you're gonna have some problems like bubbling, filament not extruding correctly, creating imperfections. So today I'm really excited to review this product that has been sent to me for free. And the review is gonna be my own review with no influence whatsoever from the company. The company is called iBoss. I'm not sure what's the, the correct pronunciation of the the brand but they sent me the polyphemus filament dryer and I'm gonna unbox it and review it as live as possible meaning with less cuts and edit as possible so this has never been open I'm gonna open it right away and we're gonna set it up look at the manual and so forth so without further ado let's print it let's make it let's get into the video This is Pixel Forge Lab, my name is Alessio and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please consider to subscribe. Here on my left, I have two filaments, two PLA. One is the Sunlu Red, which is amazing. I love Sunlu filaments. And the other one is just the generic PLA from Bamboo Lab, which caused me a few problems lately. I'm not sure what's going on. I hope it's because it's not dried and it's moistures and everything. So this will be a perfect test for the Polyphemus filament dryer right here. Yeah, let's open it right away. Let's see how the filament holds in place. And the Sondu one, it's probably perfect. The nice feature of this device that I'm really intrigued is the rotation 360. So it rotates a little bit and then it rotates a little bit and then it stops. So it will be uniformly uh, dried, perfect. So we have right there. Now I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, now it's plugged in. We can see some of the instruction on the screen. We have the on and off button, of course, and then we have the option button, the settings. Then we have on the screen, well, let's turn that on for once. And there we go. So we have the type of filament right there, which is PLA for now. Then we have the setting temperature, the actual temperature, and then we have the humidity, which is right there, now it's 95. And then we have the remaining time and then the heating level and then we have increased the button of to increase and then to rotate and then the decrease if i rotate just this is the one that i oh see and then it stops and then it rotates and then it stops and then it rotates and it stops i love this thing so we're gonna stop it. This filament right there is not rotating properly because the spool is not perfect. One other thing, there are two chambers right here where you can put, let's turn it off, where you can, can put desiccant beads right here, silica gel, so that's gonna be cool. On the data sheet, we have filament, temperature, timer, heating level. So we have PLA, ABS, PETG, PA, TPU, PC, ASA, PVA, and PP. The temperature for PLA is 50, ABS is 60, blah, 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 and so forth. And then the timer is four hours for PLA, two hours for ABS, and PETG is two hours. So let's do the PLA, which apparently has already started. If you go to the menu, this is M1, PPP, TPU, PVA, ASA, PTG, PG, PA, ABS, and PLA. In fact, when I select PLA, it says 50 degrees and then four hours, and there you go. So if I go to the settings, I can change the temperature if I want, if I can set it to 60 or whatever. Um, and then I'm gonna start the rotation. This is the timer, it says remaining time. Also on top it says to not close the vent. So I'm gonna keep it open when it's drying because now we are drying. I replaced the spool holder with the original one from Bamboo Lab. So let's see if he actually rotates. Now it's actually heating. So I should have probably stopped it, but um, that's okay. Let's put it this way. Let's close it up. Let's see the rotation. Now it should just go properly and it does rotate perfectly. 
But before I start the actual drying of these two spools, I wanna weight them and see how much they weight. I wanna see the difference in moisture, the weight, so after drying, how much moisture we actually removed. So we're gonna weight them right now. But before we start the drying process, I just want to show you what the Bamboo Lab green filament was before drying. So here it is with the purge line and it's sort of okay, but we can see right away the adhesion on the first layer is horrible. It doesn't stick, it creates bubble and it kind of pulls the filament up to the nozzle and it's not really great. And as you can see here, holding a, a previous example, because I tried at least four or five times to print this model. And yeah, this is the bit that really doesn't really work, the square one, and it just kind of, it's like glue pulling up. And so we have to stop the print right away. As you can see right here in the bottom are the two tests that I've done before. And it's just a big mess, it doesn't stick and it's not an adhesion problem and it's because the filament itself is not dry enough. So let's dry the filament right away and see if it actually works or not. And this is the Sunlu filament with the spool and everything. It's 1,120 grams. So it's one kilo and 120 grams before drying. And this is the Bamboo Lab one, the one that caused me a lot of problems. The Bamboo Lab one is 751 grams and there we go so we're gonna put them back into the filament dryer controlling checking that everything slides perfectly having a nice spool holder is essential obviously if you want to if you want the rotation to work and here we have the percentage of humidity right now it's set to 32 percent so we're gonna turn it on back again there you go we're gonna set it to PLA, which is already set. And the time remaining, it's three hours and 59 minutes. The manual kind of finishes right here after the, the screen options are shown. Um, it kind of shows you also the, the data sheet and also the extension. And then you have some frequently asked questions, for example, like the desiccant placement and uh, how to set them and everything. So we have four hours to go and we're gonna turn the rotation on, obviously. And uh, for you, it's gonna be a second, and for me, it's gonna be one day or four hours, so I'll see you in one second. And here we are again on my printer. This time is a different setup. So if you guys wanna see uh, how to turn your P1P from uh, original one to this, check the link for the video in the description down below. So anyway, uh, without further ado, this time we have here, you know, we have our filament right there. I'm not using the AMS for this one, just for the test. And the iBoss is right there. Just kind of keeping these filament dry at 10% humidity. So let's start the print, the same one with the green filament. This time it's dry, so let's see how it goes. So now the print is initializing. That's perfect. We have this. And this is the Panda Touch from Big Tree Tech. And I have a review on my videos. Check the link in the description down below. It's loading the filament and is actually purging it. And hopefully this iBoss dryer is gonna do its job as expected. Spurging. That's drying the filaments. Oh, there you go. Of course, if you have a bamboo lab, you know the drill and the routine. And here we go. We are ready for the purge line. I'm really, really excited and scared at the same time. So hopefully it's going to do a perfect purge line and then a perfect first layer. And here we go. Let's get up close. Perfect purge line. Let's see the first layer. I don't see bubbles like the, the other one. This is really, really promising. The center is perfect. So now the bit that was worrying me, this square here, oh my God, is perfect. It's actually doing it. I'm so happy. Woo! This is going to be a really, really good review for this product. The iBoss Polyphemus Filament Dryer. Look at that. After drying for four hours, I believe, or six, I don't remember. Um, 
we have a perfect first layer and the filament is just perfect. So it wasn't a problem of the filament being bad, it was just really not dry enough. Let's spit it up with the first layer and let's top it to see how it is. So here we are on the build plate out of the printer and we can inspect the purge line is perfect. I think I never had a purge line this good before. I mean, it's just perfect, perfect perfection. And the first layer of this print, let's see. Um, here was actually starting the second layer right there, so that's not a mistake. But uh, I mean, check this out. It's brilliant. No bubble. It's just perfect. Let's compare it to the scrap of the other one that I have. And here it is compared to the other one that I have. And yeah, the difference is massive. I mean, you can see right here, it was getting all bubbly and um, not really great. In fact, it was a failure after failure. And even this one, it was not sticking at all. But after drying for uh, between four to six hours, now I don't really remember. But yeah, this is what we have. It's just perfect so well done iBoss and thanks for sending me the filament dryer it's amazing let's wrap this video up and uh, let me give you my honest opinion and the pros and cons all right so let's see the pros and cons of this amazing filament dryer from iBoss the polyphemus filament dryer so the pros well I really love the fact that the filament are actually spinning and rotating within steps so they rotate then stop then they rotate and then they stop again. So it's really cool so the heat can go around all the way through the filament and be even and uniformly distributed. I love that feature so much. Another feature that I love is that you can feed the filament through the iBoss Polyphemus filament dryer directly into your printer with all these holes that we just saw before. And we have three in the front, one, two, and three, then three in the back, and other two in the bottom back, I believe. I'm not sure I can see. Yes, there are other three or other two. Anyway, you can watch the video back and see where they are. Another pro is that it's so, so easy to use. It's really easy. The menu, it's really easy to use. Just go through the settings, choose your filament of choice, set the temperature and time, and you can customize that too. As I just mentioned, the screen is very easy to read, really, really easy. Another pro is this. It's really, really easy to place your filament inside. You remove the, the top case with all this plexiglass. It's really, really light and it's really easy to, to handle. And remember the vent. Now, um, you can see maybe from my beard that it's longer. So this bit of the video is in the future. I use this Polyphemus filament dryer for about a month now. Um, I have to say I like this thing a lot. One thing that I don't like, so let's go to the cons, is that the motors right here sometimes make a really weird noise and I think that's due to the fact that the motors have to be replaced every I don't remember. It's on the guide and you can find other videos where they actually tell you that because I just want to be uh, a good tester and see what the filament was after, I mean, before and after drying and you can see it already. One other con that I don't really like is that this thing doesn't really snap into place. It can be a little wobbly, as you can see. I would like to see this feature implemented in the next version if there will be one. So like a locking system where you can maybe lock it right here, lock it there and the back and the front and on the sides. But now sometimes it goes like this and it falls. And uh, another thing that I realized when I was using it is that sometimes it's on uh, next to the printer on some cardboard, whatever. And it makes me want to grab it and move it like this. <laughs> But yeah, you're just gonna pick up this bit, not the whole thing. I wish that it could be an option, like I said, to lock the panel right there so you can move it all together. But I'm pretty sure that someone will come up with a design to print and like a customization that you can print and, uh, you know, customize your uh, Polyphemus iBoss yourself. So there we have it, the iBoss Polyphemus filament dryer. I love it, I love it, I love it. What can I say? I really like this filament dryer. Uh, I never had one, so I don't have any comparison to make, but I'm using it 
every day, constantly on. Or it's on or it's in that mode where you can actually kind of leave it off, but it keeps the humidity constant. So if you decide it's like 10 or 15, it will start again and uh, heat up the filament and keep it dry. So I really like it. And for me, again, it's a double thumbs up. So well done, iBoss, for this uh, filament dryer. What can I say? If you guys want to buy it, I highly recommend it to buy it. It's amazing. And this video was long overdue. So thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next one.